Hi guys, Paul here. Welcome back to my channel. This is a quite interesting video that I wanted to do about uh, one of my, you know, that I love Porsches, you know, despite I started like GT40 Model Works before I love GT40 Model Works from my nickname inside the original GT40s.com forum in North Carolina, you know, and uh, you know that I'm a Porsche freak, so I love everything related to Porsche world and so on. So this time I had the opportunity to make a brief comparison between a model. I hope you can see because I don't have the bottom part of the model. You can see. 935-77 Turbo is the baby Porsche. Provided by Nitto, 124 scale, and the Rebox provided by Italeri. So it is that one. Daytona 80 winner, you know, even a baby Porsche, 1935-77. was a baby Porsche, you know, difference in the engine, the structure of 1935, and uh, let's just check if the model is exactly the same, you know, I always had this curiosity, you know, because this model I took years ago, and they didn't come so much expensive, you know, I didn't buy them brand new models, uh, 935 requires a lot of work to be done properly, you know, and this model is extremely poor because they both feature uh, the same parts and the Nitto and the Italeri are basically the same identical model provided by Eshi in the late 70s you know so this was a model arrived I think 82 83 something like that and despite the the different firm you know she have been uh, used by there is a website that makes the analysis of all the boxes around of uh, these uh, different Porsches you know but uh, immediately as you can see from the body they are exactly the same identical model with the same problems you know so, front air intake on the front bonnet is closed, the detail is uh, the same uh, level, you know, and uh, if you check the engine bay, the same, the same identical detail. So, the model is exactly the same, more yellowish, of course, in the older Nitto model. Nitto, I think, is even stuff coming from the early 80s, you know. This is the re 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 reprinting by Italeri, and inside they had that long molds. Uh, that are coming from the age of the model, you know, it is not present here. As you can see, it will be just interesting to check if Italeri, because basically the main difference, you know, is this mold, this final part of the mold. This is slightly different, but if you see, basically Italeri uses the same identical parts, just the under part is slightly different i don't want to open the sealed box but as you can see the light the under part in the nitto model there is a lot of details for not detail there is a proper usually they have very quality also electric motor you know because they were provided to have the battery pack in the back of the car and to be raced so it was very very toyish stuff from the 70s you know from the 80s it was something very common in that year so you see this position of the molds is exactly like in the Nitto model so I compose the box straight on a line and that's it this was the original feature of the box Italeri changed it made it in a bigger uh, frame but you see also from the structure of the frame that is very old stuff the only different part is just about the under carriage that have been slightly modified you know so it's closed don't uh, have any longer the parts uh, for the for the motor but basically it's the same identical kit very very generical generical part of the engine you know and i think it, this was probably originally also provided by ish in the beginning you know because it was just the nitto ish didn't provide models with uh, the motor inside it was just the japanese usutamiya made the same with models of the 80s to provide uh, all the quite interesting honestly wires and cable and this motor engine with the round this to make it run straight you know so i remember that they made some of them you, you build up the model in plastic without painting sometimes with whatever kind of decals this was the martini car there is uh, something made by indicas incredibly nicer than this garbage that you can find here i just keep it for collector purpose you know indeed i, I took this model of the daytona car Let's see if I can show you the box I understand it from the version it was. I didn't like it so much because I wanted it to be like a Martini car, so I surely will take the Indical decal when I will ever build up this model. Because you know, this was the liquid molly vehicle, this one. And I don't like this livery so much, you know. 
30 euros back back in time a lot of dust in the box already this one I made is war you know model is also built up quite ugly on the, on the box art it's not so nice when they decide to use models you know because in, unless you pay somebody really really skilled to make something incredibly nice and picture it incredibly nice the finished model on a box art is always a shit so ugly to see really oh, but black panel line maybe <laughs> Oh, the season of the company but that's it so basically the model is exactly is exactly an issue repurposed i think it's still on the catalog of italeri this stuff you know they took the molds of uh, issue back in time from earth i think and uh, they saved some the vents on the on the wheels are quite nice but what is really ugly that thanks god in the uh, italeri model they are not present is the chrome you see that is bare white rear huge wheel from 935 and here we have the original ishi type with the chrome very very easy to bleach out and uh, to keep it straight and repainted because they were really 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 ugly guys you i don't want to say bad words but you understand what i mean and also you have to try to work on the sprocket to make it open like a bbs or even better change it but you know Maybe Porsche, I, I don't think there are better models around, so still for this type of Porsche, for the baby, you have to work on this garbage, so you have to try to keep the model in a modern level, but it's uh, not so easy, and also the front, uh, many, many modelers make the big mistake, also very skilled modeler make a big mistake when they try to reproduce the frame, the front frame of the windshield of the 911, that is so particular, even more in the racer, you know, and this is absolutely not well done at all. So at the end, the model will remain a little chubby, I dare to say, a little clumsy. I don't, I don't know. It's not. It's not the proper feeling that you get from a 935. You know. Of course, it's mandatory if you want to do a martini to change that decal. They were also yellowish. Uh, probably also good in quality because back in time they didn't have bad quality decal. But you know, I don't dare to use on a model stuff that is. <laughs> made to be water sliced in 1981 so probably probably not i don't know if they feature a, a data you know it's interesting because on the side box of the nitto you have the 911 rsr the 2.1 rsr still a she model that is the original air fix uh, made in a fantasy library from the tino competizione 206 never raced in that way that was a kind of iota that don't look that way so it's a mura converted by them Still a mold coming from Eshi, the same for the Stratos, and the same from the original Mura, so Mura, Yota, all the stuff, you know, it was toys of my childhood, you know, so if you find them, my suggestion is unless you have the same fetish that I have for the vintage modeling stuff, stay away from this stuff, you know, if you really want to build up a baby, you don't have any, any more alternatives as far as I know, so the only stuff that you can do is take one of these and try to work on it, hoping that it come decent you know and it's not absolutely so easy so that's it the model are basically the same as we seen you see there is still the ishi logo covered by italeri that was 124 i hope you can let's see there you see 93577a but there was the ishi logo in the beginning that is also taken away from the nitto parts you see they don't have the Ishi logo. That's it, guys. I hope you like this brief review. And uh, the subject is, anyway, very interesting because the baby was uh, an important car. You know, she won a lot in the 80s. So we had to figure it out something. But uh, the decal is an issue both in this model and both in that model. So, yes, Michael, I will come to you and Indicos and I will buy your decals. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.